In this video, I want to talk about the potential demise of the US dollar. This is something that has been all over social media. Everywhere I look, I see a thumbnail or a video about the US dollar not being the world's currency. So we're going to dig into that because as I did research this video and as I looked online on this video and looked up actual news articles written by legitimate sources, it's not quite as scary as it seems. So let's go over the facts. I'll mix in my opinions. I'll let you know when there's a difference between fact and opinion. And then we'll form together a conclusion at potentially what's going to happen in the near future with the US dollar. I've heard so many different things recently. Let's just start it off the top. So Saudi Arabia right now sells oil across the entire world. I believe it's pretty much their only export. They do that all through the US dollar. Any country that wants to buy oil from Saudi Arabia has to pay them in US dollars. They are considering, which I've also seen this out there, that they are taking Chinese yuan. I looked up a couple different articles today. I'm recording this at the beginning of April. They aren't even taking Chinese yuan yet. They're considering taking Chinese yuan. They aren't even taking it yet. If they do decide to accept Chinese yuan for oil, they will never ever not accept US dollars. That's an opinion based with a lot of fact. Saudi Arabia knows that we are their biggest oil buyer, so they're not gonna make us go to the Chinese yuan to buy oil from them. They're always gonna be able to have us and anybody else that transacts in US dollars be able to buy from them in US dollars. And they're not even saying that they want their currency to be backed by the Chinese yuan. It's not even in discussion right now if their currency is not gonna be backed by the US dollar. Their currency still backed by the US dollar, even if they do end up taking Chinese yuan. Another big topic that's coming up right now is the BRICS countries potentially starting their own currency. That would be Brazil, Russia, India, China, and Saudi Arabia. Now they're talking about trying to create their own currency similar to what the European Union did by creating the Euro. Aside from the fact that I have trouble thinking that those five countries that are spread out kind of throughout the world can come together in one consensus to create one currency, aside from my doubt in that, if that were to happen again, this wouldn't mean the demise of the US dollar. Those five countries combined have about a $25 billion economy. The US economy by itself is almost a $25 billion economy. Plus all the other allies that the US has, even if those countries did succeed, whatever currency they come up with would not be more powerful than the US dollar. Right now, as we're talking, as I'm making this video, 88% of world trade is done in US dollars. 2% of world trade is done in yuan. Now we're talking about BRICS and them creating their own currency. What they're saying is they want it to be backed by gold, which is something that the US dollar has not been backed by since the late 1970s. It's basically backed by people's belief in the US dollar, it's backed by the US economy, and it's backed by the US military. However, the issue with that is those five BRICS countries have less gold than the US has. So to say that a different way, the US has more gold, more solid gold than all those countries combined, not even bringing into light all the other allies that the US has and the goal that they have. That's another issue I personally have with all that. I know the USA is not perfect and we do not have a perfect domestic policy, but there are countless examples that I was able to come across with China and Russia and them lying to people. So them saying that they're gonna do this, I think is them posturing to try to get some negotiation with the US and try to understand that this would hurt the US dollar if this were to happen, it would not crush, it would not demoralize it, but it could potentially hurt the US dollar as well as the world economy. I think this is them posturing because this is kind of their last option to hopefully get a little bit of a leg up on the US. Countries have tried in the past to cut out the US dollar and it has not been done with any large scale success. No, I'm not saying that everything is sunshine and rainbows. I do think that the US dollar is losing a little bit of its power. I do think the dollar is slipping a little bit, but there is no currency either by one country or a conglomerate of countries that even comes close to the US dollar's dominance. I don't know the long-term ramifications of this and anybody that says they do is lying. Nobody can realistically predict what's gonna happen. If the US dollar would ever not become the world currency, that would be something that would have to happen over multiple, multiple decades. Anybody that's watching this video when it comes out, it would not happen in their lifetime. I think in general, just having some perspective and looking at actual news sources and looking at actual data has made me feel a lot better about all this. Now, if you go on YouTube or social media, you're probably gonna feel worse about it, but a lot of it is conjecture. I, until making this video, thought that Saudi Arabia was already taking Chinese yuan. And the fact is, while I'm making this video, that has not even happened yet. They're just considering it. In general, I like to look at things more as half glass full rather than 
half glass empty and understand that there are smart people working on all of this and in general things tend to work out. I like to have perspective. During the Cold War, there were kids doing nuclear bomb drills and hiding underneath their desk. How scary would that have been? We don't have anything close to that. That is just a simple example of things have always been worse things will always get worse and things will always get better. Everybody expects here or here and it's usually somewhere in the middle. So if you appreciate this, I'm going to start to create a little bit more content on what's happening out there in the world, doing actual research and giving realistic perspective. I will never be a fear monger. I will never be a fear whore. If I think something's bad's going to happen, I will tell you, but I will also not tell you something's bad's going to happen just to get your attention and just to get your views. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I give out free advice on how to create wealth for normal people. See you on the next one.